You guys aren't going to believe this. You have no idea where I'm at because, yet again, I ran out of recording space and didn't realize it partway through that episode. So, left you guys off. I was looking at a bunch of diamonds. I just went back, look at, back at the footage to see where it left off. And it was a while ago. I've been talking for a while. You guys missed some good stories. It's unfortunate for you. Now I have to retell them somehow. And they won't be as good, probably. But, um, basically, I got the, the diamonds that were right there in front of me were a set of eight and then a set of four. So I had 12. And then running around, I found five more at some point. Uh, I'm in an abandoned mine shaft that I found a zombie spawner in the middle of. I got some saddles. Um, and just got some uh, some individual diamonds from one of the chests. And this game still goes on for a long time. So we didn't lose out on an area to check out. However, I was in the middle talking about the world's smartest inventions, and I only got to talk about the back scratcher, which is not even what I wanted to talk about with that thing. So, I must continue on and explain where I was going with that whole thing. So, basically, God, you guys missed such good coverage. Now, I'm just thinking back to what I what I was saying and what I talked about now, and I'm very sad. Uh, but basically, on this last one that I was watching, that I haven't finished the entire thing yet, but uh, I was, one of the inventions on there is this woman, she had an epiphany one day when she was at a, like, a, a, a party. She was out at a party, and she went up to the food table, the, the, you know, the place where they had all the food set out for the guests and stuff to eat, and she walked up to the food table to eat it, and it was, like, by the trash can or something like that. So when she walked near it, it smelled really, really bad, and therefore, she didn't eat at the party because she lost her appetite because the, the smell was just that bad so she had this epiphany apparently where she she decided to sell her god what she what she call it smelling the fat away or something like that she made a product that was a spray that was meant to spray on your food when you cook it to make it smell like crap so that you don't want to eat it anymore so that you eat less food because it smells like crap. Now that is, I'm so glad they had it on this show because that is absolutely ridiculous. If you want to be smart about finding a way to actually like lose weight and you're going to go to the extremes shoot wrong inventory slot and you're gonna go to the extremes of spraying nasty crap onto your food why don't you if you're gonna go but you're gonna purchase this item that's you're gonna then have to spray on your food and, and ruin everything that you you have so that it smells like crap now let me tell you something about this there's one thing that's called willpower willpower is that thing that lets you diet without having to resort to supplements like that it's by going i will eat things that are healthy for me as opposed to something that's bad for me or i will just eat less portions of what i currently eat oh i actually need let me see i need more Boop. 15 do i need more uh i might actually not need any more wood right now I don't know where this my shaft is, um, but the willpower can you know help you do that, or you do things like if you don't have willpower, you're gonna end up getting those pills that like make your appetite less, so that you physically can't eat anymore because you get really full, and that will help. That that's a like an assistant to willpower. When you're going to the extremes, that you're actually gonna put something that tastes like crap onto your food so that you stop eating it why wouldn't you just save your money on that product because you know you're ruining it so it's, it's not like you're just it smells so good and you want it so much and now you're just too full because you know you had you know an appetite suppressant or something like that it's that you are making the conscious decision to put something on your food so that it smell it smells bad and therefore you're not going to want to eat it if you're going to have go to that extreme why don't you just not have the food that you want to eat around and have something that you either don't like or just something that's healthy so that when you are hungry, the only choice you have is to eat the other thing. Like for me, for instance, I hate squash. I, it, anybody who likes squash, you're crazy. It's like slimy. It's, it's 
stringy. Like, why? Why? How is anything appetizing that's stringy? Like, it. I don't. I don't even get it. It's. It, it, it tastes like crap too. Like, I don't know if anybody likes squash. Julia loves squash. She gets mad at me all the time because she's always wanting to, our side for dinner or something. She's like, "How about I cook a squash?" And you know, honestly, it's funny. She multiple times said. How about we cook squash for the side? And I'm like, you know that I hate squash. And she either will cook it anyway, or she will even cook dinner and make that as the only side. And tell me, with, not joking, but with the thought like, oh, I got, I got us some squash for a side. So that's what we got to go with our, you know, chicken you know, or something like that. And I'm like, um, Julia, you know, I hate squash. And she's like, oh, you do like the, this is multiple for like many, 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 many. Hi, buddy. I thought you fell down. Many, 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 many months of our relationship was spent with that conversation. Now she knows that I hate squash and it remembers that I hate squash. Or, yeah, knows, remembers, what one of the two. Um, and she says it's a joke all the time. But it's not, you know, real. It, it, it's a joke now, which is good. Because if she still didn't remember, it would be a little bit of a problem. When the doctor can't remember basic, simple things, then you got something wrong. Uh, but no, she knows it now as a... And it's a big joke, but I absolutely hate squash. It is disgusting. And, ooh, more diamond. And if I really wanted to lose weight and was going to go to the extreme of pouring something on my food because it makes it taste like crap, what I would do is I would just go on, like, an all-squash diet. All I would have in my house is squash because, for one, I'm not going to eat it that much because... I don't really want to, so I wouldn't eat much, I'd, but I'd eat enough to, you know, be full, so I'm not starving all the time. So, I would be eating less portion, and I would be eating something that's relatively healthy. I'm not going to sit there and try to make, like, the thing, it, it's like, oh, I can't resist going to a fast food restaurant because I love the taste of the food, so I'll just keep this bottle of spray with me at all the time, and I will make sure I spray all my fast food with this spray there's nobody in their right mind who knows that they're going to put that on their food so that they are going to try to lose weight is going to go out and buy the thing that they actually want to eat knowing that they're going to spray the, the thing on it what they're going to do is they're going to go get the thing that they want to eat with the quote-unquote intentions of spraying it so that they don't want to eat as much of it but they're either just not going to or they're just not going to they're not going to they're either not going to spray it or you're going to be smart enough to not buy it. Nobody is going to use that invention. It's the most ridiculous thing in the world and I was I was watching this with Julia and we were laughing so hard only for the point of is this woman serious? Like, I mean, I've seen some dumb inventions out there. I, you know, I went and I had a whole episode about the fib digit core, uh, which was actually like real back in the fifties or something. But some lady, you know, saying that she patented the ability to cut foods into shapes and like how dumb I thought that idea was from a perspective of a different perspective than actually it being a dumb idea because sure, you know, you can cut food into shapes. Kids will like it. Kids will want to eat more. But from the concept of thinking that she could get away with this, you know, brand new type of invention, I think this other lady is just crazy. Like, I mean, I've seen some dieting fads and stuff out there before, but a fad that involves purposely making your food taste like shit, just cook different, cook different stuff. I don't know what to tell you. You really have to rely on the fact that you couldn't actually lose weight unless you used this product and made all your food taste like crap <laughs> you got a bigger problem than the need of losing weight you've got just a general life problem of not being able to follow through on anything and no offense but if that's the case you're probably not very successful at what you do in life either because if you can't follow through on basic simple things without the help of a i'm not saying that people don't get help I'm just saying they get smarter help. Like, if you're actually going to be somewhat successful, you get smarter help. You don't get help like that. Like, I don't, even, I don't even know what to say. I'm sure I've offended many people out there. I'm sure I've offended the people out there who... That was lava one day, I'm assuming. Not some irregularly shaped dungeon. Yes, it must have been. So, how high up did this lava come from? This is a very strangely generated cave. There's no question about that. Yeah, it's like... A lava staircase. From all the way up. Ah, huh, there it is. From all the way up there. I don't want to go up there yet. I'm not done down here. 
Um, <laughs> I've sadly been in this cave for probably like two hours now. And you guys are only catching a small portion of it. Not that I recorded for two hours before, but between, you know, the recording I did that is now gone. So you guys will never see it. I, I covered the basic points of what I talked about, though. I went into some other topics as well that I, I don't even remember how to segue into them. Um, trying to do it from memory. So I guess we're going to lose out on those additional topics. But... I still hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We did some caving, we did some you know technical stuff at the beginning, and we talked about stupid people and stupid inventions. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stick around this cave for a little while because it is a full cave. Lots of stuff still in it to explore, I think. And I will see you guys in the next episode.